from our heart, living from our core, living from our power, we all get more. We are powerful. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the Transformation Summit. I'm Sue Erda, I'm your host for this event and I get the extreme honor of talking to all of the co-authors of the upcoming book, The Art and Truth of Transformation for Women, where they're sharing their personal stories of transformation in their own lives for you so that you can have more ease and grace on your own journey of transformation. And today I'll be speaking with Ashley Tuck. She is one of our authors in this book, sharing her personal story. She's a very interesting woman and I'm looking forward to you hearing from her because she's got some great information for you to share about living an abundant life. That is her topic today. So I'm gonna read a brief introduction of Ashley and then we'll get started speaking with her. Ashley Tuck is a vinyasa yoga instructor, sound therapist, Reiki educator, somatic therapist, personal trainer, and owner of Ashley's Crazy Yoga. Ashley has been teaching yoga for over five years and practicing for more than six years. She is passionate about making wellness accessible for everyone, regardless of age and lifestyle. Creating Ashley's Crazy Yoga has given her the opportunity to bring yoga to communities and uncommon venues such as churches, senior homes, and beaches. Ashley currently resides in Oak Creek, Wisconsin with her husband, Carrie. And Ashley, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing terrific, thanks. First, you know, I just wanna ask you, how did you come up with this name, Ashley's Crazy Yoga? Well, I mean, we are a black owned, woman owned business and just giving a black business the opportunity. You're crazy enough to try our services. You're crazy enough to give a black business a chance. You know, um, there's a lot of apprehensions. I don't know why, but you know, um, like if you were to go to like a different studio or like um, more less than a mom and pop shop, like a, like a huge gym or something, you'd be more inclined to pay their high prices or something like that. And so the goal of our studio is just to make wellness more accessible and affordable so anybody can try our services out. That's great. I love it because I love yoga. I, th I think it's a wonderful practice. Obviously, you can take it into, you know, start with little kids and take it up into your senior years. That's really awesome. Um, so, Ashley, I'd love if you would share with our audience something about your personal journey and what led it to led you to where you are today. Yeah. So, um, I was actually first first introduced to yoga when I was like in fifth grade. We actually did it in Girl Scouts, and then later I ended up having to finish up like my high school credits for gym, um, and I did not want to do like any sports type of class. And my um, Homestead High School is actually where I went to school. Miss Godfrey, she had a core strength class. And that class was all about like Pilates and weightlifting. And then it had like this yoga unit. And I really liked it. I loved um, how she taught it. She clearly had a passion for it and it, it rubbed off on me. And it got to the point during those classes, I actually brought my first yoga mat which I've had for the past five years, it's come to me um, at my studio now. So she was a huge inspiration with that. Um, then I actually took like a year off after I graduated high school, just to kind of um, decide like what I really wanted to do. Um, just dove into a self-practice of yoga. And that's when I discovered Yoga Fit is where I got my um, teacher certification from my 200 hour. Um, so Yoga Fit's a really cool studio. It's a pay-as-you-go um, training. So you, a yoga training is actually $3,000. And so it was nice to be able to split that up um, and go on like weekend trainings. So it actually took me two years to um, finish that training um, to complete my 200 hours. And since then I was working at gyms and um, studios just to make an income to be able to get my studio um, actually opening this year in February. That's great. I, I applaud you. That is so amazing that you got passion and, and I love that you got turned on to it at you know, a younger age and that it, you just brought that to your own life. I, I just think that's awesome. Um, and I love the crazy yoga thing too. Like that just makes me excited about that for you. I, that's cool. Um, so, you know, we all have like a guiding light that we follow that in, you know, that leads us and guides us and we just look to for, in, in, you know, inspiration, motivation, all that. What is yours? What's the number one principle for you with your guiding light? Um, I say it has to be consistency. When you have like a consistent practice, um, it's something you can kind of step into a routine with and it's, it, it's the universe or God or whatever you believe in, um, they start to really order your steps, your path, 
um, to actually start accomplishing your goals, um, to make it to wherever you're trying to be, like as simple as I want to ride a bike. So, you know, you can't just get on the bike one day and say, I'm going to ride the bike. You have to practice and you have to fall just like with, with yoga and any type of thing you're trying to get into. You're not going to be the best when you um, first step on your mat and teach. You're going to stumble and you're going to jibber jabber your words up um but it takes practice like i've been doing this for five years and uh just to find your voice um and then you'll find um the audience that'll you'll attract that's great i like that consistency and you know me i like consistency i call it discipline you know it's mm -hmm. like I, I and i hated the word discipline for years but i find that it's really my friend you know if i stay mm -hmm. consistent if i do it everything works out um so I know that you know, Ashley, you are on the right path for yourself. You feel guided and, you know, this is for you. You know you're doing the right thing. How do you know that for yourself? And how can somebody else know that for themselves? Um, it's, it's kind of weird how to say this, but like I, when I took my Reiki teacher training, my um, Reiki master teacher was actually talking about um, synchronicities and um, just really notice what's around you, what starts to kind of sync up in your life and don't just go on autopilot. So the, the easiest thing to kind of notice is like number frequency or sequences and stuff like that. So like if you see 444 four, four and something like that all the time, and if you keep seeing it at that exact time, if you check your phone, you gotta, you know, take a moment and be like, well, what am I doing? Why does this keep, this number keep coming up? Then you'll kind of notice that, um, maybe more people start to come into your life, more positive people, more mentors. Um, the, the universe just starts to kind of put these things in your path to help you and um, just to remind you to keep going, you know? So, so that's yeah. just when they show up, you got to pay attention though, because a lot right. of times people aren't aware of all the stuff that's showing up and from the outside, somebody else might see it even. But mm -hmm. if you're not connected, I guess that's what you're saying about God. Yeah, and being connected with your surroundings and connected with yourself, you know, um, what was it? We spend at least 95% of our day kind of on autopilot and really only 5% connected. Um, the reason why we're on autopilot is because we are already in a routine. So it's always nice to kind of change up your routine. So, um, it's something different. You know what I mean? It, it gets boring living the same day and having the same thoughts all the time. It sure does. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know, and so we're talking about yoga because that's what you do. That's what your passion is. So do you think, um, Ashley, that there are some misconceptions or maybe myths people have around yoga and religion? Well, for sure. Yeah. Um, a lot of skeptic skepticism about, um, having to involve like the gods and this and all of that mythology kind of stuff or the history of um, yoga. Those are gurus and actually those poses are named after those famous gurus. Um, but that that's not what yoga is completely all about. If you do want to do some research, it's actually about the eight limbs of yoga. Um, the yamas and the niyamas, your personal and social ethics of how you kind of view the um, yourself and how you view people around you. Um, then it's breath, pranayama. Then it's actually the, um, or I'm sorry, it's the asanas, which people are most familiar with the postures and stuff. Then you start to get into breath and then deep meditation and stuff like that. So it has nothing to do with religion unless you want to add that. Like I have um, some friends that do Christian yoga and um, people who are interested in learning about God and doing Christian yoga, that, that'll be their following. It just really depends on the message that your teacher is teaching and if that's something you want to follow you'll you'll pretty much attract the audience that you're looking for yeah that's great and that's so important too because the, i think that some people do go to yoga and maybe they get turned off sometimes because of the teacher but it's really you think it's worthwhile to go maybe find another teacher because yeah. yoga as a practice is a life lifestyle right mm -hmm. and that that teacher is your guide so you want to have a guide that you're clicking with you're connecting with and you feel you can learn something from if you're just going for the practice of the the postures and to get a good sweat you're only getting probably like 20 percent of your class there's so mm -hmm. much you know so much more of the body mind and spirit connection as that trinity yeah that's cool you know um actually i've seen some poses that you've done I've, I've seen some stuff on facebook that you've done and you do some pretty amazing stuff you are so flexible and strong obviously what is your favorite pose um 
I'm not sure at this point now. I like my pose is like it's always changing, kind of like how my practice adapts. I would say um, stand, not standing splits, the flying splits. That's a, a fun one to do. It's kind of a forearm um, inversion. So a lot of core strength, a lot of upper body strength um, to get into those type of postures. But yeah, I like that's one of my favorites. <laughs> that's cool. I think that might be the one that I saw that I was like, whoa, you know, <laughs> if, if I could do that, boy, I would be doing great. Um, so, you know, you're obviously passionate about this and you love doing this. Why are you so passionate about helping people with yoga and flexibility? Because it like it just starts with the poses and then that the teacher connection to the student um, just pouring that passion into the student and them wanting to learn more from you. And, you know, like I said, it's just they're coming for the practice and just to get the poses and to get a good night's sleep and then they start to realize oh i'm actually sleeping better oh i'm actually not so sore in my back or my shoulders anymore and they start to realize all of these beautiful things that are happening to them um, and then they want to share that message and that's what's so amazing about yoga you know it's been around for over five thousand years and passed down so many times it's just i want to be the continuation of that and keep passing that to people Mm, beautiful. I love that. You know, um, this is, year, 2020, has been very unique for all of us. You know, it's, it's a lot of stuff comes up every day. There's a lot of beauty that we see when we wake up in the morning. And then there's a lot of stress that sometimes comes as we go throughout the day. What would you say to somebody who is feeling very overwhelmed right now with stress? What can they do? Take a deep breath. <laughs> um, less, yeah. <sighs> less screen time. Um, setting timers on your, your apps, especially if you are over consumed by social media and stuff like that. And even just stepping away from your phone or your computer and getting some fresh air, go for a walk while it's, it's nice out. I'm in Wisconsin. So, you know, enjoy the fall weather and read a book or whatever, something that can help spark that interest or just spark something uh, just to shift your mind from whatever is stressing you. And then when you feel like you're in the, the right mindset, you can come back to um, if it's homework or whatever you're doing, for yeah. sure. Yeah, that's great. I know, I agree with you. The breathing is one of my go-tos, absolutely. No question about it, I gotta take a breath. And um, that's awesome. So Ashley, I know that there are gonna be people that want to reach out to you. I know you do a lot of online classes, is that true? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So anybody, you can teach anybody yoga, they can join your classes from anywhere. Will you tell us a little bit about that? And also, I know you have a gift for our listeners too. So for let's sure. can access all of that. Yeah, so you guys can visit ashleyscrazyyoga.com. My name is spelled with two E's. And we offer classes in um, Central Standard Time. I'm in Wisconsin, so like the Midwest. Our classes, the online Zoom ones, are Mondays through Thursdays at 4 p.m. Um, you can also see our other classes to drop in if you do live um, in the city or around the area. And my gift for you guys is when you do visit the website on the homepage, I have a free guided meditation and easy flow class. So this class is geared towards anybody. Anybody can do it um, seated. You can be in a chair while you do it, or you can be even on your mat just sitting while you practice it. So that'll be linked. Um, it, it's also in a, a playlist, I believe, on my YouTube channel, which is just Ashley Tuck. All of my handles are Ashley Tuck, um, by the way. So yeah, check it out. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much. I so appreciate you. And I, um, I love your story in the book, by the way. I love that you are just going there and going for it and following your passion and doing all the beautiful, crazy stuff that you do. So thank you so much for that. Thank you so much, Sue. You're welcome. And audience, listeners, thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for taking your own transformation and your own life um, to heart so that you can also, you know, enjoy more of your life and have more ease and peace on your journey. And I invite you all to buy the book, The Art and Truth of Transformation for Women on our launch day, which is October 20th. You go to our website, which is transformation dash book.com you'll be able to we'll guide you to amazon to buy the book then you bring your amazon receipt number back to our website plug that in and you will have access to more than 35 gifts from our authors and partners so it's really awesome you get this wonderful book with 20 personal stories that are all about transformation you get more than 35 gifts choose one choose 35 whatever you want it's all for you launch day is october 20th transformation-book.com is the website so thank you all for being here i wish you all a beautiful happy day bye for now